Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. I'm just trying to connect to the studio console, but it is taking a lot of time to launch the site information. So I'm just trying to troubleshoot this problem at this point in time. So it's been like this for the last couple of minutes. So I thought of recording this video. So I'm just checking what is happening. Okay, if you notice your memory utilization is high. So let's see, let me try to close a few applications. Yeah. Now let's check the utilization again now it has come down to 88 percent from 95 and cpu uh, also reduced a little bit so let's minimize this okay now if you see here it's trying to load so sometimes when we have a lot of applications open and if the CPU or the memory utilization is high, then it can cause a lot of issues. So if some background process is running, so we have to wait until that process is finished. Otherwise, it would, you know, uh, affect other applications as well. So let's see how it goes. So let's monitor it once again. Okay, it's 88%. Okay, let's close server manager as well. It is taking 48.1. Okay, where is server manager? Okay, this is server manager. Okay, let me close server manager. Okay, it's closed now. Okay, we don't see server manager here. So it is a little bit better now. Let me close this. And let me try to open task manager once again. Okay, it has come down to 88. Yeah, not bad so yeah it is it is this is moving a little bit so all unwanted applications can be closed okay yeah i think i'll close uh, task manager as well at this point in time especially when there is a lot of load on the server if you have a lot of uh, you know cpu utilization memory utilization it can cause a lot of issues so see if you see now it is loading immediately it's almost there So sometimes, you know, uh, we think that the issue is very complicated, but, you know, it could be very simple. We can just close the unwanted applications on the machine. And, you know, uh, this application would have now, this machine would have some resources or CPU or memory available to uh, load the applications without any delay. Oh, interesting. It says a working broker service could not be found. Let me close it. Let me check the broker service. Okay, Citrix broker service is here. It's in started state, right? Yeah, it's in started. It is in running state. Let's do one thing. Let's try to restart. So in the production environment, you have to be a little careful. 
So since this is a lab environment, I can just go ahead and do it. But broker service is a very, you know, uh, important service on Citrix controllers. So you have to be very cautious when you restart the service, especially when all the other, especially especially when you have a lot of video machines. Okay, uh, seems like it is started. Okay, let me try to connect once again and see how it goes. Okay, I think it is almost there. All right, uh, we could connect successfully. So what is the point of this video? It's, uh, you know, sometimes we think that the service is down or something, but it could be utilization as well. There could be high CPU utilization or memory utilization or network utilization or storage utilization or whatever it is. It's always good to check the performance of the machine by simply opening task manager and see. So, yeah, the issue is uh, resolved right now. I hope you find this information helpful. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.